Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to show you a very practical example of the integration by parts technique. Here we have the integral from 0 to infinity of x times e to the minus x dx. If we did not use integration by parts, this may be pretty difficult to integrate. But we're still faced with the choice. Here we see that the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du, where the u turns into a du and a dv turns into a v. So, if we look at that, we take a look at the parts and we begin to realize one of them is easy to integrate and the other one we can make disappear by going from the U format into the DU format. For example, if we let U equals X, then DU equals DX and DX disappears from the integral. Then, if we let DV equals e to the minus x dx, then v is the integral of that, which would be minus e to the minus x. So you can see that this is easy to integrate, and here by going from u to du, I can get rid of the x. So let's plug that into our equation right here. So this becomes equal to u times v. So we have u times v, so that would be x times a minus e to the minus x evaluated from 0 to infinity. And then we subtract from that minus the integral of v du. Now v was here, so it would be a minus e to the minus x, and then a du was a dx. And notice that this is a whole lot easier to integrate than what we started with. Now we do need to evaluate this, so what happens when we plug in the excuse me, when we plug in the top value, uh, the top limit, and then the bottom limit, we get the following. We get infinity times a minus sign. So let's write this as a minus infinity divided by e to the infinity, when we plug in the upper limit, minus when we plug in the lower limit, we get zero, because zero times, if we let x equals zero, this whole thing just becomes zero. And you may wonder, well, what that's equal to? Well, we'll get to that in just a moment. Minus times the minus becomes plus times the integral of e to the minus x dx, evaluated from zero to infinity. So here, notice, you think you have infinity divided by infinity, so that may be undefined, but if we let values get bigger slowly, for example, minus 100 divided by e to the 100 power, notice that e to the 100 is way bigger than 100. And if we get minus 1,000 divided by e to the 1,000 power, again, this is way bigger than that. As the exponent gets bigger and bigger, the denominator grows so much faster than the numerator that this whole thing eventually tends to go to zero. So that can then be thought of as zero. And let me dry the board, otherwise I can't write on it. There we go. So essentially, this becomes zero minus zero. So we end up with the integral of e to the minus x dx, which is equal to minus e to the minus x evaluated from zero to infinity. So here we do a similar kind of thing. So when we plug in the upper limit, we get minus uh, one over e to the x. Let me write it like this first. So I'll bring it down with a positive exponent from zero to infinity, which is equal to uh, minus one divided by e to the infinity minus a minus 1 over 1. The reason why I get that is when I plug in the lower limit, e to the 0 is 1. And so notice that 1 over e to infinity, that simply becomes 0, and minus times a minus becomes plus, so this is equal to simply plus 1 when we finally evaluate that integral. But there's a really good example of how nice it is to use integration by parts to take something that seems impossible to integrate to something that is much easier to integrate. And that is how it's done.